Hi, it's Julia in the shed and today we're talking baskets, or in my case, basket case. Um, if you've got the basket case quilt pattern, my cross patch pattern, all the measurements will be in that. So I'm just going to tell you how to put it together. Uh, we're just going to put one little basket together and I've prepared it in my best Blue Peter fashion of here's one I made earlier. So I usually make them two at a time and in the pattern it will tell you all the squares you have to cut and you have to cut a couple of little rectangles and you have to cut your basket handles. So if you're cutting two at a time you'll start off with your two creamy squares, your two basket colour squares, these squares will become the bottom, these are for your sides of your basket. These are also for the sides and these are for your handles. So it's easy cutting. Once you've done those, you're going to have to cut out your basket handles. The rectangles are the only shapes that are going to stay the same. All of these are going to be cut diagonally in half. So let's put these to one side and we will bring in our ready cut triangles. So once you've cut these in half, you will end up with a coloured large triangles. They will be the bottom of your basket. The cream will be the top of your basket. The little triangles will eventually be the feet either side. And the other little triangles will eventually be the bottom of your basket. As I said before, these bits are the only bits that aren't going to be cut, so these will stay the same. So the first thing you need to do is cut out your basket handles and you're going to sew them onto the large cream triangle. So this will become your basket handle on the top of your basket. Let's move these out of the way. Once you've done that, all I do is do, if you look at the back, just a little running stitch to hold them in place. And then you're going to sew that together with your bottom triangle. And then you will end up with this. OK, so now we need to do the sides. So remember the rectangles we had earlier. Let's bring those into shot. We've got the two rectangles and you've got your two little triangles. Now, if you look at the placement, make sure you put one either way, otherwise they won't fit. And where you're going to stitch is a long quarter of an inch along these bottom edges here. When you've done that, you will end up with two pieces that look like that. And then you're going to need to sew these to either side of your basket. So if I move those out of the way, I'll bring the basket back in. You're going to sew those either side of here. So if I turn that the other way around, I can show you. So you place them right sides together right side still here we go this is what I've done not thinking about what I'm doing so we're going to put that on top of there and you're going to sew down that seam so you match those two seams together and there's a little bit like quarter of an inch overlapping so you'll be sewing down there and then you'll flip that out and then you'll sew the other side on on top of it so if I put them in place now you'll see what I mean so you put one there and then when you've sewn that, you'll put the other one, you'll flip it out, put the other one on top and sew it down. So if I show you the back of what happens when you've done that, you'll know what I mean. There you go, there's the back. When they're flipped out. So you do one, then do the other, and then snip off all these little bits here. And you'll be ending up with one little triangle left. You've got one little cream triangle left. And this is a triangle that needs to go on the bottom here. So you'll sew that again, right sides together, 
and flip it out and once you've done that you will end up hey presto with a finished basket so they're quite simple to make just make sure you you cut your seams accurately uh, when you've finished you can trim them so the, in my pattern they should finish at four and a half inches however if you're sewing with a Janome sewing machine, which seems to have a rather generous quarter of an inch foot, they'll be more like three and a quarter inch. So here's my new Christmas baskets, Ziggy Zag one, on top of the summer baskets. And then I've done a slightly smaller one over here. Let's chuck everything off here, which is a Christmassy quilt. And I did 12 baskets because I thought it would be the 12 baskets of Christmas. So that's what I'm up to today. Tomorrow I'm going to Malvern Quilt Show. So I shall take some pictures of that and put them on Instagram. Um, have a lovely day. Hope you're uh, enjoying some sewing time. The weather's not so brilliant today. Um, and see you again soon. Bye.